Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast series for the We Don't Play podcast channel. I'm your host, Flav Beats. My real name is Favor, by the way, with a U. And um, I'm here to talk about everything to do with apps. I got 10 apps on my... What do you call these things? Arsenal? Yes, I got 10 apps in my arsenal that I'm going to tell you guys about today that could change your experience. It could change your life. It changed mine, so I, I wanted to change somebody else's life too. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about 10 apps that are in different categories, in different fields, but they all simultaneously play a role to giving you an enhanced profile and an enhanced life. What am I talking about? Mojo, Planoly, Unfold, Snapseed, Grids, Digit, Hobnob, Calendly, Thumbtack Pro, and Constant Contact. What are these apps? I'll start with the first one. Mojo is a pro app that you can use extensively for video templates and photo templates. If you have anything that you're promoting, if you have a quote, if you have something that you want to talk about, you can use that app to actually give your audience a little taste that's different from what everybody is giving. Because I don't think using all the Instagram filters is going to change your experience because everybody's doing it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think outside the box. You got to think, okay, what am I doing that nobody's doing? And if they watch me do it, they can come and ask me how I'm doing it. And I can tell them because I want the next person to do as well as I am. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Mojo is a great app for photos, for videos, for templates, for graphics, for GIFs, for promotions. If you have an event, if you have a shop, if you have a business, you can use that app to do whatever you want. The only thing is you need to get the pro version. The pro version is going to give you an extensive set of display and patterns that you can you've never imagined like the best thing about that app is that they keep changing the templates so within the year you can always use something new or you can keep what you have the next app is called planally 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 is an app that you can use so well to plan out your posts both for instagram and facebook so with planally you can be able to schedule posts ahead it's like um hood suite but it's way better it's way 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 better because you get to see the insights you get to see analytics i know instagram shows you all that stuff but planally kind of gives you like a hindsight of what you can use ahead of time you know you can actually foresee your posts because of the, the way that planally shows you how your post could traject or could inject into the social media feed and give you a reason to stand out imagine using mojo and then using that mojo post that you've created on your planally and then you put that on instagram you're going to see a lot of returns because people are people like to see quality people like to see art people like to see something new they don't like to see the same thing every day and with social media it keeps changing so you need to change too So that's what I would say about Planoly. It's a scheduling app that you can use to actually find out what post to post whenever you need to post it at the right time because they give you those um, analytics based on what you've already been doing with your account. And Instagram does that, but it just gives you a blank canvas. That one kind of tells you images, videos, carousels. What do you do with them? How do you plan them out? It gives you the best times to post, the worst times to post. And it's user friendly. You can download the app. You can also go to planally.com and do that for yourself. The third one is called Unfold. Unfold is one of my favorites because they give you like paper cut kind of um, feeling that you can use to like, you know, create your own, your own flair. Like Unfold has countless of templates. I've not even used 10% of of the the templates that they have because they have so much to give you 
and the, the good thing about getting so much is that you can do a lot with a little and the much that you have you can be able to play around with it and know what works for you unfold is like a literal blank canvas that you can download and you can use that app you got to get the pro version too but that gives you an extensive set of templates that you can use to create for posts online and if you really want to focus on your branding you got to focus on the right template for your brand when i say template because i've been saying template for the past five minutes a template is just a a set design that's preset for your purpose whatever goal you're trying to achieve that template is going to serve that purpose and you can use that to your advantage because that's a way of intriguing somebody to see something new that they've not seen even though it's a post that's ordinary unfold can turn that ordinary post into an extraordinary post go check it out snapseed is another one i've been using snapseed since god knows when 2014 <laughs> and i was not even using it on an iphone i was using it on an android and it was great i loved it so snapseed is a really good app that you can use to enhance your profile and i know instagram gives you those filters but snapseed is like the boss it's like the og so i would say go get snapseed and download that it looks like a it looks like a leaf you know that's what the icon looks like it's very very nice you can really change the way you put pictures out there so that people can actually appreciate your art and your extensive flow of creativity rather than just posting a picture and choosing one of the instagram filters and touching it up you can do so much with snapseed go get that app the next app you can use is grids ha grids you know one thing about grids i used to ask myself how do people make those posts that are just big you know when you have like a post that just covers the whole grid there's an app that they use called grids and it's funny that that's just the name of the app where you can be able to stretch out your posts and give your posts actual value for their worth so you can use the carousels you can use all those fancy stuff but i know that the grids grids does a great job in making sure that if you want a post that can cut across your whole um, instagram feed you can do that to your advantage by just downloading the app digit digit is another great app you can use digit is more of a financial app that allows you to save money and the great thing about digit is that you can save and you don't even have to be there you don't have to check it all the time you can literally preset what you want on the app and tell them how much you can tell the app how much you want you know to save you can set goals you can set emojis it's very user friendly so i would suggest you using digit for your business if you want to save money if you want to invest it's a great app to do that it even has something called rainy day so you can be able to save a few cents as you go and honestly speaking it's a great way to do it's a great way to go so um use digit use digit use digit the next app i'm going to tell you about is hobnob hobnob is specifically for events if you have like small events like when i had my birthday i i used hobnob twice the first time i used it was in 2018 and shout out to ashley egbo because she's the one that talked about the app and i was like whoa okay what is that so i checked it out and it was successful i did the same thing this year sorry last year and it worked out perfectly so hobnob is like an app that you can use for event scheduling and you can make it very personal it doesn't have to be an event bright if you don't want everybody to know about it you know when you want to send pajama parties pool parties the summer is coming so there's so many things you can do with that app to just make it more user friendly and more intricate when it comes to dealing with people that you want to actually invite per person and the good the good thing about that app is that you can be able to send messages 
and send those messages directly through text using the app you don't have to text everybody in bulk and say hey come to my party or come to my event you can use that app to create rsvp you can use that app to create engagement it's very official so i would say use that app for your benefit the next app is calendly calendly is great for scheduling appointments if you have appointments that you want to make and you don't know how to set it out and let people know okay call me do this do that you can use calendly to your advantage you can use calendly set it up integrate it with hubspot you can integrate that with zoom you can integrate that with stripe paypal it's a great app to actually give you content flow if you're doing courses if you're doing classes if you're doing mentorship if you're doing anything that deals with relatable services that is in an in-person kind of um category you can use that to your advantage i use calendly if you go to calendly.com forward slash flave beats you're gonna see me there and it's so easy to use don't fall behind thumbtack thumbtack pro thumbtack pro is another app you can use thumbtack pro is for business entrepreneurs if you're a business entrepreneur and you're listening to this that's a great app that you can use to your advantage because what does it do it actually gives you leads and sends you feeds from wherever you are in the u.s or outside the u.s to actually get b2b customer service or b2c customer service you can do B2B business, B2C business. And what I what do I mean by B2B or B2C? B2B is business to business. And B2C is business to consumer. And you can use that very, very well because there's a lot of people that need stuff. You know, every day people need stuff. So if you're using Thumbtack Pro, trust me, you're going to get a lot of leads that are going to give you, you know, it's like a Fiverr, but it's more of like a, it's like Fiverr's bigger brother, if that makes sense. So check it out. Thumbtack Pro. Constant Contact is another one. That one is fire. I just did a, a, a lead generation today um, for one of my clients where I was able to gather all the emails that I've been able to curate for the past two months. And then I now set that ad in a lead ad campaign using Constant Contact for email marketing. So everybody uses MailChimp. Everybody uses, you know, whatever they use. But I think me being a a used experience, a user experienced in MailChimp, I've used Constant Contact for the past two days, and I cannot even lie, it's changed my whole perspective on how to, you know, deal with clients and actually deliver the right product on time. And there are some limitations that MailChimp has that thumbtack sorry not thumbtack um constant contact they sound alike so bear with me constant contact is good for leads automations it's good for scheduling it actually even gives you reports that you don't ask for because it gives you like exact intricate details of how to create a good flow of of information for your business or for your clientele so if you have constant contact they have a pro version that's like about 45 dollars a month and you can get professional service assistance from them if you're dealing with anything to do with um email marketing campaigns if you want to do a social post they have a lot to offer i know mailchimp is great shout out to mailchimp but i think constant contact really does it because it makes your work easier it makes your workflow definitely easier and it gives you better results i've only used it for two days and i'm seeing a lot of wonders so i just wanted to share that with you guys too so that you can also get the same apps if there are any other apps that you know let me know send me a voice message on anchor.fm forward slash we don't play and let's see what happens if you use any of these apps and they work out for you please let me know because apps come and go but 
I know there are some apps that stay that end up leaving a big impression on somebody's profile. You got to think about the quality. Quantity is there, but that quantity has to be quantified with enough quality that can propel you to the next level. And by doing that, using any of these apps, I know that you can be financially better. I know you can be creatively better. I know you can be mentally better because you can be able to analyze and deal with these different areas of life and get the best result out of each one. So I think you should go ahead and download these apps while I go ahead and use some of these apps for the rest of the day. I've been your host, Flav Beats, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode. There's a lot that I'm going to be talking about in the next episode, so keep it locked. Today was about apps. Last week, Thursday, was about how to brand yourself. And next week, sorry, not next week, Thursday this week, in the next two days, we're going to be talking about something else. So watch out for that. That's going to be more detailed. This was just like a, you know, soothing, you know, part part one, part two. Now we're about to get to the meat of the series. So for now, use those apps, enhance your social media profiles, get better at it, ask questions, and you're always going to get the right answer for whatever you're looking for. So I'm about to go and I'm about to say one more thing. Live your life and dream big. Thank you so much for joining me today. Talk to you on Thursday.